My name is David Shealy and I'm the lead expert here at Skunk Ape Research Headquarters and that's what we do. This is a track of Skunk Ape. As you can see, it's a little different than a, a Bigfoot track that comes from the Pacific Northwest. Here in the Everglades, the Skunk Ape is four-toed and I found this track about two years ago. Well, there was only one incident where one could have been perceived as being aggressive, and that was two tourists from France were photographing orchids and bromeliads on the Turner River Road, two ladies, and their report to me was that a huge male skunk ape came out of the bushes, and they said it was definitely a male, they could tell, and it looked to be kind of a rouse, kind of like a sexual kind of a thing and they were a fear for their lives they had a convertible car and when they got in it they just hopped right over the top they didn't even open the doors they said wow. uh, they said it really shocked them they reported it to the visitor center down here and um, then they were sent to me okay sir. the legend of the skunk ape can be traced back many generations the Seminole Indians of the Everglades told stories of a creature standing nearly seven feet tall, covered with hair, and exhibiting an extremely foul odor. As if a Sasquatch of the South, the skunk ape was known as an elusive ape man roaming the woods in search of food. Over the years, there have been a number of close encounters, yet there is still a plethora of information out there waiting to be uncovered. Dave Sheely is an internationally renowned cryptozoologist whose life mission is to explain the unexplained and bring this timeless story of the skunk ape to the world. The term skunk ape was first coined by Dave's father, Jack Sheely Sr., in the 60s, when he and fellow mystery hunter Ray Wooten caught a whiff of the monster. Since then, many people have reported close encounters with creatures of the same kind. Most reports go to the park ranger's station, who then directs the witnesses down to Dave's place. Nobody lives here anymore. It belongs to the Tiger Tail family. And they lived on this island until about 1978. The only difference is all the wood on the floor that you see around. Other than that, it was just the chickies built on the dry land. Now, as far as legends go about the skunk ape, things like that, I've heard much about it. I've been here about four years. I've heard a lot about it, but for myself, I haven't seen anything yet. To me, it's just a, a pretty much just a myth that goes around. Everybody says that it's out here further west of on the Tamiami Trail, but like I said, I haven't seen it. The people who say they have seen it, it's at nighttime. So. Stop there and let me correct it. I want to live a life from a new perspective. You come along because I love your face, and I'll admire your expensive taste. And who cares if I intervention? I want to be praised from a new perspective. But leaving now would be a good idea. So catch me up on getting out of here
to old Chappy, the Southwest Florida town. Bring your camera with you, there's a mystery walking around. That old Sheely take you with him, maybe luck will let you see what he saw in the sawgrass from the cypress tree. They'll call him Skunk Ape, a Bigfoot walking free. They all call him Skunk Ape, he's the Everglades mystery.